Welcome back to the Big Fat Anniversary Quiz. This round's all about the best music of the last ten years. James Blunt's You're Beautiful was everywhere in the summer of 2005. A bit like dog shit and wasps. Whoa! Whoa! Back the fuck off, Blunters! Whoa! I'm serious, Jimmy Carr! Whoa! You make jokes about the expense of chilling and miners, that is fine, but you bring Blunters into the equation. You have crossed the line, my friend. <laughs> I had no idea you were so... Well, I'm worried about this one now. <laughs> if this As... is about Blunt again, I will walk. <laughs> As an officer in the British Army, Blunt served in Kosovo and witnessed atrocities on a par with his second album. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is your beef with Blunters? Seriously. Come on, you're not thinking these through. Bl Blunters. You hear these, yes. Blunters. He's a wonderful singer and he served in the army. He's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> One Direction's first single, What Makes You Beautiful, was released on September the 11th and remains the worst thing ever to have happened on that date. You all right with that? You're going to kick off? Yeah, it was funny enough for it to be OK. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, it was on the edge. It was on the edge. Yeah. You can take the yeah, edge. Carry on. First up, it's over to the Channel 4 newsroom where Jon Snow is reporting on one of the biggest hits of the last ten years. But what is it? Over to you, John. An American court has ordered that a couple is to live separately after the fire services were called to their house to tackle blazes more than three times a week. According to doctors, the pair suffered from a rare medical condition that caused their genitals to self-combust. Victims of the condition, which is exacerbated by vigorous lovemaking, say <laughs> symptoms include being hot as a fever, rattling bones and that it feels like you're dying. You're dying. The couple were unavailable for comment as they were consumed with the what's to transpire. But in a statement released earlier, they insisted, we're still the greatest. The greatest. The greatest. That's so disturbing, oh. isn't it? <laughs> I assumed oh, any answer about music I was going to write one to five was Gangnam Style. I'm really any good on Blue Cheek or James Blunt. <laughs> OK, have a look at this clip from 1969. It became the unlikely inspiration for which massive global dance craze in 2008. OK, so what dance craze did that kick off? Don't you love those outfits? The sort of polyester mm. two-piece suits. <laughs> What, mm. what happened? Nothing. What happened? <laughs> you a quiz, Jimmy. What, what happened? Sure, Noel and I have made mistakes in the past, but now we're just trying our best to be in a quiz. Leave us alone, you bully. <laughs> OK, question three. One of the biggest hits of the decade was What Does the Fox Say by Norwegian <gasps> duo Yelvis. So my question is simple. What does the fox say? OK. Do you know this one? I'm with you. Nonsense. I can well, hear it in my head. OK, what is it? Listen to me. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few that I would accept. There's, a, there's three or four that I would accept. OK. Did you genuinely not like Back to Bedlam? <laughs> the album Back to Bedlam by James Blunt? Yeah. You that didn't, you just you'd... Googled? You... So, in 2004, which notoriously raunchy dance video prompted the then Prime Minister Tony Blair to say, the first time it came on, I nearly fell off my rowing machine. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. Go on. OK, he was working out when he nearly fell off the rowing machine. The video, working out, I think is... Oh, oh, what's the one Blue did with Elton John? Oh, sorry, it's the hardest one. Stick it down. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sexy. <laughs> oh, Elton. Anthony Costa reclining on a piano. Oh, yes, please. Lee Ryan. <laughs> Russell. Yeah, yeah. When we have the revolution, what's happening to Old Tone? I Is don't he think he looks good for Old Tone. No. In a post-revolutionary world. Well, I, I mean, I find it hard to contextualise him as being on a rowing boat, being shocked by a video. <laughs> he wasn't on a rowing boat, he was on a rowing machine. I don't think you have TV on your rowing boat. Do I don't just... know. I don't know. Do they? Can we trust them? They lied about them weapons of mass destruction, do they? <laughs> And finally, it was the decade of mobilised yeah, fandom. One Direction fans call themselves Directioners. Justin Bieber fans are referred to as Believers.
But what are Lady Gaga fans called? Ooh. I was going to ask what are James Blunt that. fans oh, called? This. Yes. <laughs> are you on Twitter now with people? Oh. This is like a police state, man. <laughs> it's more like a police state. <laughs> <laughs> What did he text? What did he text? What did he say? Man, this is huge. What did he text? What did he text? What did he say? What did he say? Look! Oh, is he in there? Go on, what did he say? His book. His book. Hey, Jack Attack. Oh, oh, OMG. Jack Attack. The answer is diversity. And Matt Cardall, smiley face. Huge. Huge. <laughs> wow. Look. The noise you made when that came in, I genuinely thought you'd hurt yourself. <laughs> what are you going to reply to like, me? That was like two years in the making. <laughs> what? So I can't text Jerry, back immediately because I look too keen. Yeah, leave it. <laughs> if Chico calls me Jack Attack, what should, what should my nickname be for him? Chico Tito? Chico Wiki. Snuggles. Any ideas from the audience? Do you want to turn anything in? Chico Tito, I like. Cheeky Tits. Cheeky Tits. Cheeky tits. Cheeky tits. Cheeky tits. A man that hasn't texted me for two years. <laughs> hey, cheeky tits. <laughs> 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 okay. Ask him out. Ask him, ask him out. Like, just Don't something. ask him out. Ask him, him, ask him, 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 him to come here now. Get him to come here before Get the end of the show. Get him to come here before the end of the show. Come on, we're going to be here a while. Hey, tell us what I say. Hey, cheeky tits. We're at London Studios. Come down. We need your help. Yeah. See you soon. Kiss. Send. I'm done. I asked you... Have you all got something? You ready for the answers? Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> John Snow was reporting on one of the biggest hits of the last ten years. What do you think it was? Oh yeah, we know that. What is it? It's uh, the Kings of Leon. This sex is oh. on fire. Oh, that's, that's the a right lot. answer. Yeah. That's a much better answer. <laughs> and Claudia, what did you put? We got confused when you said fire. I was like fire hot, so we put in "It's getting hot in here" by somebody called Nelly. Tune. <laughs> Warwick, what have you got? Well, we, we had you the... were torn. First of all, we went with Crazy Frog, and then because you kept banging on about sex and fire, we went with Sex is on Fire. Okay, Sex on Fire, we can give you that. Yeah, why not? Um, okay, we had a look at some lovely dancing from 1969. Which dance craze did it inspire? Claudia. Beyonce, single ladies. Okay, I mean, it's too easy. Jonathan, Warwick, do you got it? Yeah. Russell, no. <laughs> uh, what have you put for this one? Well, uh, <laughs> this one, the second one, that's wedding ring. <laughs> Is it? Put a ring on it. If you oh, like it, then you should put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's almost like you just. <laughs> Sorry, are you texting them clues <laughs> rather than the answers? <laughs> if you're going to cheat, just cheat. <laughs> We're not cheating. We're participating in a, in a quiz, and the answer, as we said quite loudly in the tape, will demonstrate. Put a ring on it, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let's take a look. the polyester version. Mm. <laughs> there was also a movie in there that was very close to the Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> wedding ring, wedding ring. <laughs> that one. Having points all round there, yeah, OK. Uh, I asked uh, what the fox said. What, what, what did you think? Claudia, you're the expert here. Ding, 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 ding. And then later on the song goes, yuppie, 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 oh. That is... <laughs> <laughs> What, what did you get, uh, Jonathan? I thought it was chof, 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 chof. But I what thought it, it said was... It was... Um, ning, 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 yeah, ning, that's ning, better. Ning, ning. <laughs> that's the crazy that's frog. That's the crazy frog. <laughs> I miss the crazy frog every day. <laughs> Why don't you text him? <laughs> uh, so, Russell and Noel, you didn't answer. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, we've got something rather better than that. Yeah. <laughs> if... If... And yeah. it's a big if... If... Russell opens his hand... and a fly... <laughs> <laughs> Is released into the studio. Can we have ten points, please? <laughs> that would be fair. 
Yeah. Can I say I'd I mean, be happy with that? Yeah. 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 Really We're amazing. happy with that. Okay, Wait, everyone's happy with that. Okay, so if it, uh, this is only if it flies Ten away. Points. If it flies Ten. away, okay, here yeah. we go. Here we, we go. We're transfixed, we're approaching, and now the miracle can occur. <gasps> Light. 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 How did it get here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Please you can have one up. point Please. for that. Oh, oh, are you so quiet? I'm going generous to give you anything for that. Jimmy, <laughs> we spent six months training that yeah. fly. <laughs> you can have a point and we're moving on. Six. Come on, everyone. That was Jeff Goldblum. We spent ages. <laughs> it's it was very not hard to get him to reprise that role. <laughs> okay, so points all round for that. Oh, dear. Okay, I asked you which music video prompted Tony Blair to say the first time it came on. I nearly fell off my rowing machine. Did you get this? Yes. Yes. Well, we didn't because we were too busy looking. Training a fly! Training a fly! <laughs> Which turned out to be worthless. <laughs> Blue and Elton John. It was not Blue and Elton John. It was not Jonathan Warwick. We're sticking with Crazy Frog. Mm. It's still a very sexy video. <laughs> OK, uh, well, let's have a look. That was Eric Prince and Call On Me. It's a weird music video, cos you sort of forget there's music even playing, don't you? <laughs> this guy is just the coolest man on the bloody planet. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh, man. You know I got all the chica time in the world for you. <laughs> but the missus is demanding her wicked ways with me, so I gotta give her a bit of chico time. <laughs> next time, my friend. Next time. That <laughs> winky <wrinkly> face. <laughs> I mean... What a guy! Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> I asked you what Lady Gaga's fans are called. What What did you put? Hey, they're little monsters. Oh. They're little monsters. Okay, what What do you think, Noel? Russell? Oh. Yeah, I put little bleeders. <laughs> <laughs> monsters, isn't it? You, you've just slightly cockneyed it up. I can see how that would happen. <laughs> little bleeders. <laughs> oh, I got distracted by that fucking fly. <laughs> I can tell you the answer is uh, little monsters. Well, we got it, then. Let's see how everyone's doing at this Ooh. stage. So, Russell and yeah. Noel have nine points, oh. incredibly. All oh, right. Uh, Jonathan and Warwick are in the lead with Making 16. Jack and Claudia have 10 points. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>